And now, as we all look forward to every year, the Honourable Member for Cape Breton Canso. Manage your expectations, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, it was the week before Christmas, and one thing's for certain, both opposition parties are definitely hurting. Oh. <laughs> In their letter to Santa, they each had one ask, to find a new leader who was up to the task. <laughs> the Orange leader looked beaten, a force that was spent when all he could muster was 47%. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> The, di the Dippers, they're nervous because they tried and they tried. The po they posted the job and no one applied. <laughs> they may turn to the internet to help fill their wish and place a help wanted ad on plenty of fish. <laughs> now, the Tories have 14 with credentials to tout, and their values based screening knocked none of them out. <laughs> They've gone coast to coast speaking right from the stump. It's evolved to a game of out Donalding Trump. <laughs> Of course, the word on the street without Peter McKay, they hope the interim leader chooses to stay. <laughs> but, with, but with the wind down south, the far right have a theory to heck with them all. Let's draft Kevin O'Leary. <laughs> to all candidates I offer, Christmas, love, peace, and joy. But when it comes to the next election, I'd still bet on our boy. Yeah!